Hello, in this video I will show you how to launch a Zoom meeting. You have two options, you can schedule a meeting for some time in the future, or if immediate, you can use the host a meeting option. If you're going with or without video or share only, any of these settings can be changed once you open Zoom. This is just how it will open it for you immediately. So for example, share screen only, if you were on the phone to somebody, you would potentially want to go with the share a screen only, which would have no sound. But if you then decide to put the phone down on that individual, you can activate the sound within Zoom. If scheduling a meeting, there's a number of options that have to be populated, otherwise others are optional, and I'll only pick up on the ones that I feel are really of benefit. So obviously a topic name and a date and time is important. Do make sure that the date, it is an American date. With the duration, this is more so to let your attendees know how long it is and also for multiple users of Zoom to see how long meetings will take. Um, if you do go with an hour, that wouldn't stop you running over and delivering, say, 90 minutes. If you want to activate registration, this will force your learners to pre-register before they are given the actual link to Zoom, so that will capture their details. If you don't activate this, the link that you send them will be the only link that they need. You may or may not have a password, and these video options here are the same as the ones here. They can be changed once Zoom is loaded. I would always recommend going with computer audio over anything else, but there are others. And then these options here are as follows. If you enable join before host, you're allowing your attendees to enter Zoom before yourself. If you leave this unticked, then they will be placed into a holding room with a holding page. And once you load, it will invite them in. I would always recommend muting participants upon entry. This stops any latecomers activating their microphone and interrupting the session. The waiting room is as it sounds, that will place your attendees into a waiting room and only once you click on their name will that pull them through to the main room. So if, for example, conducting interviews on the same Zoom link, it will place the next interviewee into that waiting room before you bring them through. Breakout rooms, I have a video that explains what that is, so if that's something you're interested in, please do check that out. And then finally, you have the option to record the meeting either on the local computer, so your desktop, or in the cloud, which would be Zoom. Again, those settings can be changed um, once in Zoom itself. Hitting save then will take you through to the page which you would share with your attendees. So clicking the invitation here would allow you to then copy this to your clipboard and place that within an email. If you have polls enabled, then you're able to pre-script some questions. And again, I have another video that will navigate you through that. And that puts your meeting ready and scheduled for the day. To launch the meeting, if you then click meetings, select the relevant one and hit start.